guys welcome back to my channel so it's a Thursday and I'm going to do a year on a video so my name is Ifola be welcome back to my channel and thanks for coming to check this video out so enough of this intro and this whole thing let's just get into my year on a video the show I'm going to talk about is called dynasty it's showing on CW so if you know CW CW is the home for flash arrow eye zombie it was the home for Nile 210 for Gossip Girl, essentially my favorite shows on TV have been on the CW and Dynasty is also on CW. Before I get into my opinion on the show, let's just read the synopsis on IMDb for the show. Dynasty is a modernized reboot of the 1980s primetime soap. It follows two of America's wealthiest families, the Carringtons and the Colbys, as they feel for control over their fortune and their children. It is told primarily through the perspectives of two women at odds, Fallon Carrington, daughter of billionaire Blake Carrington, and her soon-to-be stepmother Crystal, a Hispanic woman married into the Wasp family. I don't know, what's the meaning of Wasp family? If you know the meaning of Wasp family, leave it in the comments below. Let's all learn. So Dynasty not only features the glitz and gloss of extreme wealth, but also exposes the dark underbelly of a corrupt world built on backroom deals. You know, there's a very succinct synopsis, right? But on the for the trailers and the previews, it looked like this was a show about cat fights and about, you know, the stepmother and the stepdaughter. They don't agree and, you know, everything that goes into it. So that's how I got introduced into Dynasty. Dynasty was part of the whole fall lineup of shows. And then so when you when you go on YouTube and you're watching like new shows, they give you like this whole trailers so then it was part of the trailers that looked interesting so i was like oh let me watch it and then i went to read like reviews right and it was like you know if you watch gossip girl you'd actually like this show and i'm a huge gossip girl fan so i was like you know what then i'll actually check out for dynasty but the one thing i didn't like about it or one thing that was my bias about dynasty was that it's a reboot and the thing about reboots that i don't particularly like is that you always find yourself comparing it to the original one right because this show is based on a show that was done in the 1980s so obviously I, i'm not going to go back to check for 1980s for a 1980s show but i decided to try it out anyway and then like you know i'm a fresh audience so see how i would like the show and i don't particularly like the show like the show has six episodes out right now and it still feels off to me because they said that it's based on like backroom deals and how the daughter is doesn't like the soon-to-be stepmother who they got married in the first episode but then it's like you don't really you see the thing is that you don't really connect to the people on the screen because you're supposed to connect to either the stepmother or the daughter that feels wrong or the father that is like doesn't know what's going on but all you get from dynasty like as watching dynasty for six episodes all i get is what are these people up to because all they talk about is the current name and the current name and you're like mm, that's all i came to see here because going into the show i thought i'd find like serena van der woodson on steroids or blair waldorf on steroids you know that cat fight that cutting nature of the characters but then you don't get that all you get is like snide comments and oh i'll show you up and things and it's like can't you guys do better i don't know i don't know like then i see it feels very off to me and my huge problem with Dynasty is that you're supposed to be a billionaire family that got their money through energy, right? And in my mind, if you're a billionaire, like your dressing is on point, but then the fashion looks off. Like none of the people dress like they have money. Like they look like they have money, but they don't have like billionaire kind of money. Like the fashion feels very off. You know, because when you watch Gossip Girl, you go back to refer to that fashion. But for Dynasty, the fashion just feels like wait really is that it like is this what you come to show to me but you have money that's the thing about dynasty for me i really don't like the fashion and then the storyline so this supposed so this storyline is supposed to follow like the Carrington family in the synopsis they spoke about the kobe family but right now all i've seen about the kobe family is the guy who used to work for blake Carrington, but right now has set up his own company and is on his own so blake doesn't really like him so it's not like family it's not like paycheck against paycheck it's like paycheck against a newcomer so you don't really get that whole family rivalry that is being spoken about in a synopsis but when they talk about like kobe the daughter defects from his father to go and work with him 
because she's angry she didn't get the COO position. Which is like, okay, I thought like there'll be more done to that storyline, but I was just swept under the rug. Cool story. And we get this whole thing, like they're supposed to be, you know, the father's supposed to be like a corrupt person who builds his wealth on backroom deals, on corrupt deals. But you don't get the sense that you want to be invested to know what the father does. The next thing is that in the first episode, there was a murder or like a, there was, you know, an accident or a supposed murder. And you're supposed to be invested, like who killed this guy, right? Because everybody looks like a suspect. But then so far, I don't even care about who killed the guy anymore because I'm more invested in, like I'm more interested in trying to see what each person is doing. And it's like, why though? The next thing that's how the storyline in the show feels very cliche and contrived. Like the daughter, Blake Carrington, has to have an affair with the driver who happens to be African American. You know, there has to be a scandalous affair. She will be attracted to the business partner or not, or the business partner has an unrequited love for her. It's just very contrived and very cliche. Like I wanted to see something more. I thought like this is like going to be extra extra. And then you know there's the gay son who is not really accepted by the father but you know apparently the only good thing about this from the reboot was that in the original show you know at that time being gay was a no-no so you couldn't like he could not come out of the closet but for this one he's out of the closet and but then it still feels he still feels very off it's like he being gay feels very forced onto the storyline like you're supposed to build something out of it so i didn't really like that part my next thing i don't like about it is the diversity right they're supposed to do diversity and inclusion so bring in the hispanic stepmother the black driver the black billionaire but it's like when they when they went on their storyboard and they saw all the characters they're like oh my god we are missing so many people so let's just put in this billionaire that happens to be black and then the driver oh let him let him be black so i don't know Genesty feels very off for me. I thought it would be one of my favorite shows. Like, it would be my guilty pleasure for the fall. Like, oh my god, don't you watch Dynasty? But so far, I'm like, why am I watching Dynasty? Like, it's not amazing. Like, it's not an amazing show as I thought it would be. But then it has been ordered, like, a full season has been ordered at CW, which doesn't make sense to me because it, it has had low ratings. But I mean, I'm not an executive. I don't make these decisions. But I think that... You know, other things can be put in that time slot instead of dynasty. So, my rating out of five, I'll give it a three out of ten. I'll give it a six. It's a solid six, which I think is fair to the people. So, then I'm done with my yay or nay video for dynasty. I don't know if any of you have seen dynasty or are planning to watch dynasty, but if you've seen dynasty, please leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought about the show. So, yay or nay. I don't know. I really don't know what to give to it. So it's nay with a touch of yay. So yes, that's what it's going to be. So I'm done with the video. My name is Ifa Labi. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Like if you've seen this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? And check out my other videos that are going to be here. It's going to be here. Anyways, I just wanted to say, don't I look very bomb today? You know, I'm heading off to work and I look very bomb. Don't I? So anyways, I'll see you on my next video.